happening? The investigation. Okay, so um, you went on two trips to previously to visit uh, to see the 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 building, correct? Yes, my lord. And the first trip, as I recall it, you did an assessment, and the second trip was for an investigation, correct? The first trip was a monitoring assessment. Okay. The and the second trip was, was an investigation. A status. An assessment of the situation as at that time. <laughs> I know. All right. but, but you mentioned just now that the first time you saw this contract was when you went for the investigation, the it, visit for the investigation. Is that correct? When, when I went to do the assessment, the status to have a status report on the, the project, that was the time I saw this contract for the first time. Okay, so are you stating now that your second trip was not an investigation? Is that your testimony with now? With that, uh, that uh, question has already been answered. It has been put when, what uh, the second uh, trip was for, he has explained, and now my learned friend is still insisting on this investigation aspect. I don't know. All right. Um, <laughs> what was the second trip for? My second trip was, as my, our duty is to, wherever government projects are, we monitor, we, we assess the status of projects. So it's part of our terms of reference. No, but as you've, you've done that on the first trip. Was a monitoring trip that was seen the process that was project the at the first time. Trip. Yes. Well, what was the second trip? The second trip was to have a status of the project as at that time. Independently of any other institution? Uh, well, I went alongside with officials from the ACC. That's, that's what council yes. is asking you. It was part of the investigation, yes. but you have your own task in that mission. Yes, my lord. Well, that's what he's asking you. So, again, the first time, according to you, the first time you saw the contract was during the trip for the investigation, when you went to conduct investigations, correct? Yes, my lord. Is my lord. I was having a meeting of law officers. So. <clears throat> Third, my lord. My lord, may I proceed? I think there are other um, representations to be about to be announced. I'm not, I'm not listening to any representations now. We're focused on course examination. Uh, okay, my lord. I'm grateful. Now, Mr. Pockery, apart from seeing the contract, am I correct in saying that you read the contract? I browsed through the contract. And by browsing through, I take it you mean you read the contract. In browsing, you read the contract. Well, not in entirety. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, Mr. Bokari, you're the professional head of the Ministry of Works, correct? Yes, my lord. 
and you left here to go and do a professional work, correct? Yes, my lord. And did you consider that contract to be a vital document for you to review? My lord. Sustained. I'm sorry, what's the objection? Sustained. Locus. Yes, okay. thank you, ma'am. My lord, it does have something to do with Lucas no, because I'm getting no, there. He's a technical man. All right, fair enough, my lord. Fair enough. Now, was the contractor whom you met with at some point in time, was he contractually bound to dispose of uh, Sustained. the spoils of the dem demolition? You got it good. All right. Now, um, as I mentioned earlier, okay. Now let's take a look at page 14 of your report. Which, which That's report? the first report, AKA 1 to 46. Now, you would agree with me that looking at the video that you saw that demolition work had occurred. Is that correct? Yes, my lord. Now take a look at page 14 of AK1 to 46. Now, you state on page 14 of your report that though, dem though demolition was envisaged, the cost for disposal of the spoil of demolition was not included in the contract. Is that correct? As I said, the first report was a monetary report, <laughs> which has to do with informations given to us by the program manager, the contractors at that time. And we only had a few hours to gather information on that particular project and several other projects which we are supposed to look at also in New York. So is it your testimony today that that portion of your report is wrong? It's a monitoring report. Monitoring, you gather information uh, to actually inform the stakeholders of the client, the processes that are ongoing. And whatever information has been given to you, since you, are, you do not have pre-knowledge okay. over the project, We'll be, take, we'll be taking it to account. Sorry? We'll be taking know. note of it. Take note of what? We'll be taking note of every information given to you on site. Now, my question to you, which you have not answered, is, is that portion, is it your testimony today, before this honorable court, that that portion of the report that I have ref referred you to is inaccurate? Is that your testimony today? My Lord, that has been answered, is I believe. No, no, no. <laughs> is it your Lord. testimony that that portion of your report is inaccurate? No, my Lord. We'll say that. So if that testimony of your report is not inaccurate, then is it your testimony to this court that the, that the cost expenses, cost for removal of the spoils of demolition were not included in the contract? 
My Lord, this project is a design-built contract. And no, this... no, focus on what you're being asked. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Focus on what you've been asked. Do you understand the question? Yeah, can you go over it again? Is it your testimony to this court today that there were no, as stated in your report, that there were no cost, there were no cost um, reserved for removal of, spo of the spoils of demolition? Well, this was information given to us by the, the contractor. And the, the details of his costing were not revealed. The costing was, what he did was a list of activities which he, he attached cost to. Was, a, was costing part of your assessment of the building? Our assessment was mainly the scope of work, the activities. No, no. Your mission to New York was costing part of that monitoring and assessment and status of the building. It was a status of the building. No, no. Was costing. Yeah, cost, costing specific. is part of it. Right. So, so you, when you go to carry out your monitoring or, um, of the status of the building, costing is part of your assessment. That's what I'm asking you. Yes, my lord. Fine. Well, that's what council is asking you. Yeah, pay attention, Mr. Boker. We've been through this before. Now, Mr. Bokari, as a professional, and I'm going to get to the word expert soon, but let's deal with you as a professional. Um, do you know how much the such a disposal cost should be? Someone who has been in the profession for 20 plus years, do you know what that disposal cost should be? My Lord, this, this, this is information given to me by the, by the contractor. Do you know what the cost no, should no, be? No, my Lord. I don't know. Oh, what's, Lord. what's the problem? <laughs> and Mr. Bokker, if I may ask you further, um, do any of the change orders indicate Demolition cost? No, no, not a matter arising out of the low cost. Now, um, so Mr. Bokari, would I be correct in stating that the emission to the government of Australia was not charged separately for demolition cost? The contractor was liable to negotiations. And I believe the project manager was there. Even when you, you look at the video, he claimed that several issues were, he, he, there were waivers. And I believe this must have been one of the waivers. So it is your testimony before this honorable court today that the contractor waived certain costs. He, he was at liberty to provide cost if he believed that this was some activity he should be paid for. He was at liberty to provide cost. And he did not? To provide cost? To provide cost for all activities he should be paid for. And it is your testimony today that he did not do so for all construction activities? No, my lord. It is no. <laughs> what is no? <laughs> we'll go over, go over the question again. <laughs> the, they, this contractor was, at the same time, the one who certified the job he was doing. On that's not what that you asked. That is not the question. Thank and you. Great for my that's God. not what you asked. Listen Great to what you asked. You have just stated, Mr. Bokari, that the contractor waived, did not present to the mission certain costs in court. He waived those costs. I will object to that one. Well, that's, that is not, that's not a testimony. He did not say that. He said it was at liberty to provide cost for activities. That's what he said. 
but do you know if he waived some of those calls? Uh, my lord, if just procedurally, I see Mr. Cuevoya rose <laughs> to object, my lord. I think only one council has a right uh, to respond here. Their team. Lord. You're all part of a team. No, my know. lord. No, no, no. That's not teamwork. <laughs> How many times has Mr. Kagbu not interjected halfway down the line? Uh, no, so, my lord. Your team. Either with leave, my lord, or through council. <laughs> through council. You Mr. know what? Many uh, heads are better than one. <laughs> <laughs> my, my, my lord, we are so many here, and I think... <laughs> yes, my lord. <laughs> lead ones, the lead councils. <laughs> my lord, the, my lord. the bar here says that we should inform you that we accept your ruling on this. That's fine. You know, I mean, you know, at the end of the day, we're here for justice. So if, if somebody remembers something that somebody has forgotten, you know, that's it. So we'll deal with it. Yeah. But as, as long as uh, you, you know we don't hear objections from mercenaries, you know, then we're fine. <laughs> well, I'm sure he's going to tell you that he, he's now going to be coming. <laughs> No, Mr. Kuma, not now. I mean, please. You know, I have, I know everybody who and who they represent. We'll deal with that later on. But let's not interrupt cross-examination for that. Yeah. Yes, Mr. Soy. So, my question is, would I be correct in stating that the mission, the government of Sierra Leone, was not charged separately by the contractor for certain activities. My Lord, the... Are you aware? If you're not, not aware... I'm not aware. Well, say I'm that. Aware of that. You know, don't be answering things that you're not aware of. Please. Now, Mr. Bokari, do you recall stating at the last adjourned date that you were unable to do a detailed costing of the work done for this project. Which, what, what is Milo? No, 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 Milo, no, Milo. Right. Milo, Milo, the, 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 the witness never said he was unable to make detailed um, um, costing of the project. They never did say that one in this matter. What he did say was that they, they, there was non-cooperation from the, the six accused. That's no. what he said. No, my lord, my lord, I do specifically recall uh, my learned friend, Pamomo Fofana, asking him this, and I actually wrote it down, my lord. So I believe it should be in your notes, my lord. Right. I actually wrote it down as he was talking, my lord. Shall I proceed with my question, my lord? No, hold on. Let's, okay. let's check the records. Grateful, my lord. It said it was not told the cost. It was not told the cost. It, of it was not told. It was. It never said anything about, you know, not being able to do a detailed cost. Okay. Review. All right, my lord. I'll take it, it since that is what your notes states, my lord. Now let's turn to page eight of your first report, AK one forty six. Do you see the page um, titled Financial Issues? Financial Issues, yeah. Yes. 
Now, can you turn to the following page, please? Now, am I correct in saying that that page and the ones that follow all contained detailed costing of work done? No, no my lord. No. It differs from how we do what is no? how detailed costing is done in construction. Really? No, I, wanna, I want to understand what the no is. What is the no? It does not contain all the detailed costing of the, the job. Yes. It's so, a list of activities to which prizes we are attached to. A detailed costing in construction has to do with a bill of quantity. We are, we are every quantity is specified, quantified, and rates are attached to it. And the sum of it all can give you the complete cost of the project. So you say in your report there is no detailed or complete costing of the project? Mm -hmm. The, pro the project is not det detailed. The costing is not detailed. The costing is not detailed. All right. Yeah. Yes. Now, Mr. Bokhari, let's take a look at the document that you have been, or the pages that you have been referred to. Now, it has several columns, correct? Yes, my lord. And in the first column, you describe it, at, you, it is stated description, correct? Yes, my lord. And that describes the activities that the contractor has undertaken, correct? So the component of works. Component of works. Okay. Those. Right. The work milestones, I can see. Okay, so the first column, you say, is a description of work milestones. Yes, my lord. Are you sure that is what the first column says? It's a description of the work milestones. <laughs> so demolition of cracks is a work milestone? Yes, my lord. Okay. Removal of existing doors and window frames is a work milestone? Yes, my lord. Stairs and handrails are work milestones? Yes, my lord. Okay. Steel addition is a work milestone? Yes, my lord. And how do you gauge these milestones? As I've said, in the, the the milestones are, comes from a detail, a detailed assessment he must have done to capture all the various activities that are required in the project. And these activities have quantities. When you look at the current table, there are no quantities of work. It does not state the number of doors to be installed, the number of windows so that is here provided cost for. So shouldn't that be part of your milestone to guide anyone that there have to be 20 doors installed and five doors have been installed? Isn't that what you would usually regard as a milestone? It, it, it has to be detailed. The, the, bill of, the estimate has to be detailed so that it can give the client a clear picture as to what is required to be done. And when changes come in, in terms of variation, you can easily capture where the increases or decreases occur. And that is not captured in this report, correct? Yes, my, yes, my lord. And who prepared this report? I prepared the report. Okay. 
I prepared the report based on information I received from the contractor and the project manager. And I'll be correct in saying based on what you have just said, that this does not capture all the ingredients that it should capture. Am I correct? It is not detailed. This is information which they gave as to how they've gone on with the, mm -hmm. the financial issues on the project. And as I said, this is a monitoring. Mr. Is, Buck, hold on. Mr. Yeah. Bokari, let me just understand. <laughs> so... You in New York, the contractor is there. Yes, my lord. He gives you information. The project manager is there. He gives you information. Yes, my lord. So am I to understand that you just wholesomely put down in your report what they give you? Well, this has to do with the finances as to how much has been paid. On the finances point. On the finances Purely. All right, but you and never evaluate. Okay, did you evaluate that information that they gave you? It was a monetary exercise. Yes, and that's what I'm asking you. Did you evaluate what they gave you, or did you just simply put down what they gave you? I simply took the information as it was given to me because I had in time enough to actually validate the information given to me because we only right. spent a few hours at, at the site on that at that time, about three hours, three hours on the site. So you did not have enough time? Yes, my lord. All right. Now, Mr. Bokari, uh, is it stated anywhere in your report that these figures, these tables all here, that you have included in your report were prepared by or submitted to you by the contractor or any other person? No, my lord. But it's a monetary report, and I've stated that in monitoring, you receive information and report on information received on site. you understand what council is asking you? Did you put down in your report that all of these figures that I'm noting down here were given to me by the contractor and the project manager? Did you indicate that in your report? Well, there's somewhere where I indicated that the contractor and the consultant stated that they've paid for almost all the materials. No, no, no. I'm inside. talking about the figures. Which no, I never said, stated that. Well, that's what he's asking you. Did you indicate that these figures or the source of these figures were from the contractor and the project manager? No, no, my lord. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, Mr. Bokari, you, when did you leave Freetown for your first visit? I left on the 15th of November. 15th of when? 15th of November, 2019. And when did you return back to Sierra Leone? Or when did you leave New York specifically? We left New York on the... We are in New York on the 17th. We went to Washington. Uh, we returned back to New York on the 18th. We returned back to New York on the 19th. On the 20th, we, we moved from New York to London. When did you return to Freetown? Not when to you went to Washington. The, when you come to we did Freetown. not return directly from New York to Freetown. It doesn't matter how you return. When we did return you come on back the to 20, Freetown? 23rd. 23rd. 23rd, yeah. And... Uh, 
what day did you do this? What was the date that you did this uh, the site visit? It was on the 17th. On the 17th. And you have just indicated to this court that you did not have sufficient time on the 17th for this visit. Is that correct? Go over the question again. You just stated to this court just now that you did not have sufficient time for doing this visit. I'm asking you, is that correct? Yes, I had limited time on this visit too. You had limited time. And you were in New York on the 19th of, um, what, what month was it again? October? It was the 20th. We returned to New York on the 19th, but that was late in the evening. Late on the, the evening. 20th, we were in the office. OK. And what so, time did you leave? The, you were in the office on the 20th, the mission office on the 20th. Yes, that was to do the briefing okay. and then to depart. Since you were so pressed for time, why did you not continue the site visit on the 20th? No, we had, we, our tickets were already booked, and we have very limited time to engage in another site exercise again. And what time, on, what time on the 20th did you leave um, New York. I can't remember it now okay. because, I mean, you know, you have a, lo a long process of improve, improve, go, uh, assessing the, the airport. Okay. Do, do you have your <laughs> Do you have your flight details or ticket information? Well, that's a long time ago. I, I I don't think I have them in my possession up to now. If asked by this court to produce your flight details... No, it will not be asked. <laughs> <laughs> it's very clear it did not have enough time, and that's what we take. No need to prove that fact that his ticket left on this day, he arrived on this day, he said he did not have enough time. My Lord, there is a reason. No, no, it's for the court to determine whether he had sufficient time to do what he did. All right, my Lord, I'll take it from there. I'm grateful. Now, let's deal with your inspection time. You arrived on the 16th in um, New York, correct? That was late in my the Lord. afternoon we arrived. Again, I think we, uh, my little friend has to be careful that uh, his questions are related and confined with a demonstrable link to the locust visit. He's going into details of what transpired months or years before. Well, if the question comes and is not within the framework, I'll stop him. I mean, I've done that. So. I'm, no doubt about I'm grateful, my lord. Now, you arrived on the 15th, correct? No, my lord. Oh, the 16th, sorry. The 16th. Mm -hmm. And on the 17th, in the morning, you first met with staff of the mission. Yes, my lord. Mr. Mr. Sawyer, he said he did not have enough time. Can you go beyond that? Uh, but, <laughs> you know, that is what he said, and that's what we accept. He did you not have enough that. time. Right, my lord. Mm. But did you not... Did you not believe or did you not think that since it was your sole purpose of living here, it was your primary purpose of living Sierra Leone, that you ought to have asked for sufficient or created sufficient time 
to get all the information you wanted. Go over. Can you go over the question again? <laughs> Do you not think that as it was your primary, as the primary purpose of you living here was to go and do a site visit, that you should have allocated sufficient time for this visit. Hmm? What this witness thought about No, it's a fair question. You know, you, you're going to New York yes. to assess a building. Yes. You know, bearing in mind the time that he has told us is spent carrying out the assessment, yes. the question from council is, shouldn't you have allocated more time to it? And it's a fair question. So it's up to him. If he felt he could have dealt with it in the time frame that he had, mm -hmm. it's a matter for him. If with hindsight he felt he could have added more time, again, it's a matter for him. Yes, but my lord, mm -hmm. how does that uh, relate to... No, it does, because um, there's a... There's a report he has prepared. Yes, my lord. He's said certain things about that report. The court has moved to the locals and seen the building itself. Mm -hmm. So clearly the defense's line of argument suggests that enough time was not allocated to a report mm -hmm. that is now before the court, which is a detailed report as to what he saw in the Chancery building. So it's a fair point, but... <laughs> The first no. report, my lord, I think the witness has specifically indicated that Monitoring. Monitoring. Yes. Right. Yes. And, uh, so, no, 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 gentlemen, if the defense are raising it, it's their right, you know. But, yes. you know. My lord, I, I, I mm. quite agree. It's only that there's a tendency and... Uh, no, if it, that's what I've said. If he strays away, I'll stop it. Yes. You know, but within the framework of what I see their defense to be, he is on thin line, but let him continue. Yes, thank you. <laughs> All right. um, let's continue looking at the financial issues raised in that report. So you have a column called contract. Mr. Soy, yes, having sir. regard to what he had said yes. about the question of costing, how far forward can you go with this line of questioning in relation to costing? Well, my lord, there are certain conclusions drawn on this, and I have to tie it up, my lord. But it's not a matter for address. It's not only a matter for address, my lord. Well, how? Convince me. My lord, then I'll be letting him know what my... I'll be letting everyone know what my... No, nah, it doesn't matter. You know, you see, sometimes it's not a trial by ambush. It's not a trial by ambush. That's case. right. So lay your cards at the table. It's up to them to figure out how they get around it. If they can't, fine. But the issue is, the question of costing, his evidence is very clear that that information was given to him by the contractor and the project manager. And that's why I went further to ascertain from him whether he carried out any evaluation yes, of those figures, which he did not. So, so on that basis, if he did not, he simply noted down what he was given. But, but my Lord, I, I cannot just take everything he says as gospel truth. I, have I to accept that. Him. I accept that. Uh, but then, no, no, no. But then yes. the issue here is the questioning must be matters arising out of the locus. Yes, my Lord. Now, the costing was not a matter that was discussed in the locus. No. My Lord, but there were certain mm. items shown on locals that are listed here. Fine. And I want to bring them. I fine, want to, fine. But then yes. when you see, if you're asking questions about that, that's fine. But if you're asking about um, costing, which are matters which were merely given to him without an evaluation. According to him. According to him, that is his evidence. So the question is, if you probe in beyond that, how far further can you get? If he has gone to carry out a report or a monitoring assessment, and then information is given to him which he has not evaluated, what do you want him to clarify? My Lord, um, let me put it first to him, my Lord. <laughs> let me put something to him yeah. then. Yes. Yeah. So 
I put it to you, Mr. Bokari, that these figures or these tables in the financial issues section of your report were all prepared by you. He's answered that. He's I'm not putting it that. to him now. And were developed by you. He's not denied that. These were given to him by the contractor no, uh, and the my, project manager. My Lord, my, my, it's not only prepared, but developed by him. No, 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 not developed by him. He, he, no, no, it's been very clear that these were given to me by the contractor and the project Fair manager, enough, and, and I put it in my report. Him, I'm putting it to him mm. that I do not believe that testimony. Well, and fine. that's why I'm putting it to it's him. It's a matter for address that he cannot be believed. But if, if you say to him, well, I don't believe that testimony, well, that's what it is. Where do we go? Fair enough, my lord. And he, <laughs> say, he answers, but then I have put no, it to him. No, no, no. It's it's a, a, no, 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 no. It's, it's a, a matter of putting no, it to him, my lord. It's a matter for me to determine whether I believe him or I not. I agree, my lord. Yeah. I mean, lord, that's why we're raising it, because we want yeah. you to determine these matters. It is, but it I also want to challenge him no, no, no. on the evidence. No, a challenge takes you no further forward. All right, my lord. Yeah. I, I bow to your wisdom, my lord. I'm grateful, my lord. Now, on page 13 of your first report, you state you scored the progress at 70%, correct? Yes, my lord. Okay. And that tallies with the monies paid at the time, at the time of the report, correct? So yes. let, me, uh, let me refer you again to and um, so if you look at the financial issues of your, of your report, you indicate that 74 percent of the contract price has been paid, correct? Yes, my lord. 74%. 74% of the contract price at that time at that time had been paid. And you And you also indicate on page 13 of your report that 70% of the work had been completed. Correct? Yes, my lord. That was based on the information given to me that all, all the materials are now on site. And <laughs> they only require a percentage of what is left over for them to pay lab the labor so that you can complete the job. Mr. Bokari, it's your report. Yes, that's right. It's my your Lord. assessment. You were the examiner. And you examined it at 70%. Is that not so? Yes, my Lord. My Lord, I had a follow-up question, but I think I'll take the cue from there. It's his report. That's what he saw. He examined it, and, you know. And, and did it. you state anywhere in your report the addendum that you have just added to the 70%, that the 70% was, was scored on, on condition or pursuant to my information that, I, that materials were... Where at site? Is it stated in your report? That is the conclusion. Okay, the recommendation. The reconstruction of the Changshu building site has received supplies for almost all materials required to deliver the contract. Hence, we recommend that the payment of the next tranche payment of his next tranche to enable him pay labor that may continue to undertake the project to completion. 
And so those are the recommendations that you gave. Yes, my lord. Right. Yes. And that part that you just read out, did it say that the seventy percent grade score that you gave was based on the fact that materials were present or you were informed that materials were present? Does it state that in that section that you just read? Go over, go over the question again. Does it state in the portion that you just read that the 70% score that you ascribed to the project at the time of preparing this report was based on the fact that you had been informed that uh, materials were available or were stored somewhere else? Is it stated there in that portion that you just read? Well, it is not stated here, but based on several discussions, even in the low-cost visit, similar information given in the low-cost by the project manager were the same information we received when we went on the 19th, in 2019 and 2019 to, to assess the project. The representative on site told us that they have bought almost all the materials required for the job and their samples were scattered all over the building. And that some of the materials are uh, even stored outside of the premise. <laughs> so we had in that time to go out to check those stores. And we wanted this project to be completed on time. Now, Based on your report, what was the value? How much had been expended on the, co on the project at the time of your report? 74% of the budget had been expended. 74% of the reviewed budget. Of the reviewed the budget. budget. And what was the reviewed budget again? Well, stated there is about. As of that time, it was 5,295,555. I'm sorry? 5,295,555. 5, um, United States dollars. And 74% of that had been paid? 74% had been paid, sir. No, let's see. At that time, it was three, sorry, my lord. It was three million. Thank you. Three million three hundred and fifty-four, <laughs> five five five, and seventy seven million. How much? Three million three hundred and fifty-four thousand five hundred and fifty-five United States dollars. And how much is seventy-four percent of that? Seventy-four percent has to be two million four hundred and seventy-two. Two one zero. Okay. Can you give United States dollars? Can you give the court those figures, those two figures, slowly, please? The first figure, the total. To read it out again. Yes, please read it out. For three million, three hundred and fifty-four thousand, five hundred and fifty-five. The second figure. Two million. Uh, a bit slowly, please. Yeah. Four hundred and seventy-two. 210 United States dollars. Now, Mr. Bokari, as someone who has watched this video a couple of times, do you recall hearing the Commissioner of the Anti Corruption Commission? stating that the value of the work done on the project was just merely no, about $100,000. you don't have to answer that. You don't have to answer that. It's not evident. <laughs> Milord, um, I would like to show the witness a portion of the video, Milord. No, not in relation to that. That is his opinion. That's not the evidence. If that is what you want to show him, then no.
Now, would a would a valuation of hundred thousand dollars would that be consistent with your valuation? Uh, that question is vague. So, with, would a valuation of one hundred thousand dollars of the work done at the mission, the project, a total valuation that that is the amount that has been expended, would that be consistent with your valuation? No. No. Speculative. Milad, but that's a matter arising from the... No. No. I know you want to get around it, but no. It's not evidence before the court. Whatever he said, that's his opinion. Well, my lord, it, it is part of the typed transcript. No, no, it's no. also part of the video, my lord. No, no, no. It does not form part of the considerations. He said what he said. That is his opinion. Mr. Bokari's report is being looked at as a technical report. Other bits of evidence, in excluding what he said, are being considered. So whatever he says, you know, that's what he says. It doesn't take us anywhere. Yeah, it, it is on sworn testimony, any event. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and the Lord, may be happy with my leave of my learned senior. And my Lord, um, we must be guided that this is one of two reports before this court. So if he really wants to refer to the 499, he goes to. No, I'm just. It's just an addendum. No, look, the, the, look, the issue is about relevance. As we, as we right. So if it's not relevant, then it doesn't go in. So I was just helping my colleague. If he wanted to make it relevant, let him go to the second report. <laughs> no, no, no. Look, the two reports are before the court. His questioning is in relation to the first report. So that's as far as it goes. Yeah. Continue, Mr. Mr. Bokari is not an expert, my lord. <laughs> Now, your second report, and I, <laughs> I don't know why my learned friend was trying to preempt my questions, but fair enough. Your second report, W1 to 22. Does not give a breakdown of expenses under the financial issues section. Is that correct? Yes, it's clearly stated there are four point zero payments made. Payments made. No, 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 not okay. <laughs> That's not what I'm asking you about. I'm going to get to payments made in due course. That's not my question to you. You saw the financial issues section of AK1 to 46. What I'm asking you is, do you have something similar in your second report, W1 to 22? No, my lord. Now, Now, in both your reports, AK1 to 46 and W1 to 22, you indicate that window frames had been installed, correct? Yes, my lord. Would I be correct in, in saying that there were more than just window frames installed, that actual windows were installed. Did you see actual windows installed when you went to New York? Question for me, my lord. Yes, did you see yes, actual my lord, windows? Yes. Really? Yes, yes, my lord. Where? 
My Lord, please let him answer, then I would respond. I would respond adequately, my Lord. I think in, in the reports at this stage that when the frames are installed in the front uh, uh, face of the building, and at the, the rear end of the building, the first, second, and third floor, the windows themselves are installed there. Window Is that in your report? Yes, I think I mentioned that in the report. Is in that report? Yes, sir. Yes, All my right. Lord. Okay. So it is your testimony today that your report. Sorry, my Lord, I will, I will wait for you. Continue, continue. It is your testimony today that your report, any of your reports, both indicate that not only were window frames installed, but actual windows were installed. Is that your testimony today? Yeah, not in all, all the windows and we are installed. In certain cases, the windows themselves were installed. I've actually stated that at the rear end of it, the windows were installed, and the front face of the building, only the window frames were installed. All right, let me ask you, in Exhibit W, did you state which windows were actually installed and which frames were only installed? Is that in your report? No, my lord, but when when I, I looked at when I was looking at the, the, the work accomplished, I took the, the total number of windows that he should have installed for the first to the to, to the from the first to the fourth floor, and I gave a percentage of how much he has installed and how much is being so, left to Mr. Bokari, had we yeah. not gone to New York, how would we mm -hmm. know how many windows have got windows in them and how many only have steel frames? If that is not in your report, well, well, my lord, the contractor did not give me a bill of a bill of quantities. Where he, he now, states, Mr. Bakari, you see, this is where I, you know, I I get confused and yes. it's hard to follow you. When you went on the monitoring, did you count how many window frames were there? My Lord, this, since, the, since the contractor did not give a detailed bill did of you, I'm not asking about the contractor. Did you yeah. ask, did you count physically that I've looked at first floor up onto the fourth floor, there are provisions for 50 windows, of which 20 had windows in there and 30 were only just window frames. Did you do that? No, my Lord. All right. Okay, continue. Now, um, Mr. Bokari, is it stated in your report that actual windows were installed? Yeah, I stated that windows and windows and doors are installed. No, I'm not talking about window frames, I'm talking about windows. Is it stated in your report? Windows. Not window frames. Yes, my lord. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, please show us where in your report did you state that windows were installed? Are you giving evidence now? Thank you. Are you giving evidence? Are you giving evidence? <laughs> you know, he's feeling the witness. You don't want the witness fed? <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> A hungry witness cannot stand.
No, my lord. I, in the report, it stated that doors and window frames are installed. Thank doors, you. doors and window frames are installed. And council's question to you: yeah. Did you state in your report that windows were installed? Windows, not window frames. Windows. Yes. So, with, all, with the greatest of respect, my lord, uh, your lordship will recall that there was an issue relating to the uh, sufficiency of pages relating to that report. Page 14 apparently was missing. Mr. Masibo. Yes, my lord. Mr. Bokari yes. prepared his report. Indeed, my lord. He's the author of his report. Yes. Right? So he should know what is in his report. Yes. Right? I write my judgments here. You ask me where this is, I'll go to it and find it. Yes. So it's a fair question. Council is merely asking him, where is it in your report? Yes. Let him show it. Which report are we referring to, my lord? I think exhibit there's a w. confusion. No, there's no confusion. He's got Exhibit W before him. That's what he was asked, to look at Exhibit W. W. That's his second report, because Mr... So he moved on to his second report. Yeah. Yeah. Apparently, that is where the missing page I think is. Mr. Masibo well, is looking at something different. Well, well, hold on. Look, the issue is, yeah. he's told to look at the second report. Yes. Yeah. He's the author of his report. Yeah. If there's a page missing, he should be able to say, well, I stopped here. Why am I not seeing it? Mm -hmm. So let him answer his questions. It's up to him. He wrote his report. Yes, right. yes, 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 my lord. He should answer what he should answer. Yes, yes my lord. Um. Go to page 14. That's it. 14, item 6. It's a rear windows installed. Front face window frames installed. Five say front, fa front face window frames installed. Six says, rear windows installed. Mr. Bokari, yes, yes. was it you that wrote this report or your secretary? Because <laughs> you seem to be having problems figuring out where stuff are. No, we, we are. We are looking at the table. We are not just saying the, 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 the issue about the various items per floor is being stated on the progress of work. You wrote it. <laughs> Yes, my lord. Well, so that's what he's asking you. Show us in the report. You, your report shows. 14, 5 and 6. 6.2.2. Then 6.2.3. 6 and 7. So, Mr. Sawyer, the answer to your question is on page 13, item 6 and 7. It mentions windows and window frames. 
Go to page 13, page 14. Page 14, 6.2.2, first floor. Uh, number 5 and 6. Number, not Roman. Front face window frames installed. Rear window installed. Face, window frames installed. That's not what I'm asking about. I'm not asking about windows. Yeah, six again. Uh -huh. Rear window installed. So there were no front. Is it your testimony that there were no front windows installed? At the front, we are only window frames installed. Okay. Amilad, can we take a look at the video? And the first day of the video. Is it an application? <laughs> Mr. Sorry, is it yes, an application that you're making? Yes, my lord. To show the witness the video? Yes, my lord. So what is the answer that, that, that um, effectively comes before that application? The you ask him, is it your testimony that no window frames were no windows were installed in the front? That's the question. Right? Yes, my lord. All right, Mr. Bokari, is it your evidence that no windows were installed in the front? No windows were installed in the front. All right, fine. The windows were installed at the back. All right, yeah, uh, let's have the video. <laughs> hmm. Okay, my lord, I, I think I'd leave that for now. I'll come back to that later, my lord. Now, on, in your first report, AK1 to 46, do you state in your first report that windows were installed? No, in the first report, I this state a window, window, Doors and window frames are installed. I'm not talking about frames. I'm talking mm -hmm. about actual windows. Do you state that in your first report? No, my lord. Would I be correct in saying that at the time of that visit in 2019, that windows were actually installed? No, based on my observation and the information given to us at that time, windows were not installed at that time. Now let's stay on your first report. Let's turn to page five of that report. You state on page five that the re-roofing of the main block was the major work done on the correct uh, on the site. Correct? You state that the roofing of the main block was the major work done on site. Well, the, the C aspect talks about the scope of work, actually. The, yeah, it stated that the roofing of the major block happens to be the major work to be done on site. No, it doesn't say to, to be, be done. done it site. says it's done.
What does it say? To be done or done? Major work to be done. Major work done on site. Done. Thank you. Yeah. Which page of Exhibit AK is that? It's five. Hmm? Five. So your report states that re-roofing had been done, correct? Uh, as I said, it's a typo. <laughs> this, this actually captured the scope of work required to be done. And as we observed that, since the, the fourth floor roofing, we are to be removed. The roofing of that particular structure, whether at the fourth floor or the sixth floor, was a major component of this project, where the contractor should focus on. Now, you also state on page five of that report that the suspended ceiling had been completed at the time of your report, correct? Yes, my lord, this has to do with the, 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 the ceiling in the first, second, and third floors. Now, In that sentence that you just read out, does it categorize or itemize the ceiling work, as you have said, for second and third floors? Does it say that? No, my lord. So, Anyone looking at your report would conclude that, after reading that, that the suspended ceiling work had been completed, because that's what's stated in your report, correct? When, when you come to the table of... I'm coming to the table. ...work done, it's actually stating that 50% of the ceiling works has been achieved. Percentage completed is fifty percent. So those were your conclusions that fifty percent of the ceiling work was complete. Yes, my lord. Now, would I be correct in saying that a statement that says work done, work completed, and a statement that says 50% completed are inconsistent? Well, when you come to work, work completed, that has to do with work that you can certify that yet this is correctly done. It can be accepted. <laughs> Now, my question was, with a statement that says work completed and another statement that says work 50% completed, would they not be inconsistent statements? As I said, this first report, we had limited time on site. And most of the information we received were reports from the contractor, the consultant. We hadn't enough time to actually look at the, the details of what was ongoing on site because it was an operational site. 
and the place was a bit dusty. That was the, some of the reason why I think the air condition was even installed here so that it could help the workers to, to work effectively mm -hmm. at that time. Now, my question again, which you haven't answered yet, is a statement that says work completed and a statement that says 50% completed, are they the same? They are not the same. Now, on page 17 of your second report, let's go there, please. Page 17 of your second report. Are you at page 17 now? Second report. Or? Yes, W1 to 22. Yes, my lord. Okay. So on that page, you state that 50% of plumbing and electrical installations were done, correct? Yes, my lord. Now, do you recall do you recall seeing in the video any electrical installations done? Yes, my lord. Lord, I'd like to apply now to for viewing of the video. What's the, what's the inconsistency? So the amount of work that has been done, his grade, his score. No, he said 50% of plumbing and yes. electrical installations were done. Yes, my lord. <laughs> so does the video suggest otherwise? Yes, my lord. That 90% are done? My lord, in the video, the first accused states that all plumbing electrical and insulation of walls from first floor to fourth floor are complete. Matters arising. He was guiding the, he was guiding the court, touring. And I don't recall him saying all. That's the point you want to make, all. What I call him saying is that this has been done, uh, look at that. Let me respectfully refer you to the transcript. <laughs> All right. Let me refer you to the transcripts. Now, my lord, on page, um, it's marked as page one. So after the, after the report concludes page 28, this is the second day of the report, it also continues as page one. So if I can specifically refer the witness to that page one. So there are two page ones. 
And I'm referring you to the second page. Page one of day two. Of day two, yes. Does he have the transcripts? And so, Mr. Um, Bokery, I want to refer you to a statement which starts with all plumbing. No, page number. Uh, page one. So it's the second page one, day two, page one. So Mila, just for, uh, to assist the registrar, page, have you seen it? Or oh, let me show it to you. Yeah. My lord, it's uh, fine page enough. one of day two. Yeah, my lord, uh, fine enough. We have different markings. I have page one, he has page 29. All right, well, page 29, but the first page of day two. No, it's not the first page of day no? two. No, no, my lord. All right, well, I think you need to look for um, bit, um, the first accuser's um, testimony. Well, well, well. Yes. Yeah. Proceed, my lord, or are you you haven't seen it yet? All right, let's let's deal with the transcript first and then we'll go to the video. Let him let's hear his answer from the transcript okay. and then we'll see that. So um, Mr Bokery, do you see the sentence starting with all plumbing? All plumbing. My lord, my lord, my lord. Um, <laughs> leave up. It is, you see, <laughs> I had anticipated this issue, which was why I did remind Mr. Fofana, you know, before um, Mr. Nalo said anything on that day. It is evidence before the court, and is entitled to use that evidence and to confront the um, witness with it. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that. You know, it, it, it simply <laughs> puts the first accused in a different position when he does come to testify. And this was what I had foreseen, which is why I did remind Mr. Fufan that exercise caution in what he says. So, but that is what he says. The transcript is part of the records of the court. What he said is part of the evidence in the case. And when he does testify, counsel would then need to exercise caution prior to cross-examination because this is evidence in the case. 
Então... <risos> Now, can you read that statement, please? All plumbing, electrical installation of insulation of walls are completed for the first to the fourth floor. No, read it clearly. Oh, oh. What it says. Don't just read it halfway. All plumbing, electrical, and insulation of walls are completed for the first from the first to the fourth floor right now do you agree with that statement no my lord fine now we go to the video <laughs> says no so we go to the video <laughs> great for my lord Now, you would agree with me that the site visit has shown that substantial work had been done from the basement to the fourth floor, correct? Which of the site visits? The video, the locus in co. Yeah, the site visit indicates that uh, substantial work has been done, but there is much damage to the facility. No, leave the damage out of it. Separate issue. Question is, mm -hmm. from the video that you looked at for day one and two, the question is, do you agree that substantial work had been done? Yes, my lord. agree or you don't agree? Hmm? Yes, my lord. You and still need the video, Mr. Soy? Not, not now, my lord. <laughs> we'll, be, we'll get there. <laughs> and you would also agree with me that the work done on the first floor, including the basement, was more substantial than that done on the fifth and sixth floors. I think I will confine yourself to the fourth to the fourth floor. <laughs> and you would agree with me that if you were to score only the first to the fourth floors, that the scores indicated in AK forty in both reports, if you were only dealing with the first to the fourth floors, that the work that the work accomplished, the score you would give would be much more higher than what you have stated in, the, in your reports, which took in cognizance all the floors, all the six floors. Uh, my Lord, what I gave is a percentage that has been certified based on the individual component work that you are doing on site. And uh, each They, they, Do you understand the question? You don't. Go, go over it again. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, when you based your report, you based your report on all six floors, correct? Yes, my lord. And if you were to exclude the fifth and sixth floors from your report, the score that you would give would be higher than what is contained in the overall score for the sixth floors, correct? No, my lord, because the work has been damaged. It's the responsibility of no, the I'm not asking you, please, forget about damage. 
question to you is if you exclude the fifth and the sixth floors and you were only to rate the fourth to the fourth floor. Do you understand that? Well, it will be different, but there is not much difference because... Well, that's what the council is asking you, so pay attention to the question. Mr. Sorry, please ask the question again. So would you rate the first... If you were rating the first to the fourth floors, first to the fourth floor, including the basement, would you rate it higher than what you have rated in your reports? Yes, my lord, but subject to a condition. This contractor has not received completion certificate for most of the jobs he has done. There was no independent third party certification for most of the jobs that should be certified by the New York Building uh, Department. And subject to that, if only he can give me certification for all these jobs he has accomplished by a third party. Mr. Boker, you forget about certification. You've been asked about what your eye could see. If you assess one, two, three, four alone, minus the fifth and the sixth floor, would you rate it higher than rating all six floors? Yes, my lord, because there's no substantial work in the first But that's what the man is asking fifth you. And sixth floor. My lord, I'm grateful. Now let's go to the Now um, can you please take a look at your second report page 10 of W1 to 22. Now, before I ask you this question, Mr. Uh, Bokari, does assessment include evaluation? The assessment include the, the entire scope of work. Does assessment include evaluation? Yeah, the assessment includes uh, inclusive of everything. Does assessment it includes include the, the delivery, the delivery of the project. That was the focus of the assessment. What was to be delivered? Do you know what evaluation means? Yeah, it's, it's asking that if the assessment includes the cost. But as I said earlier... Is that what evaluation means? The, the evaluation of the... the, the, the evaluation, not evaluation. 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 Evaluation in evaluation now we, we give cost to, to does to assessment no, include, it does not include the concept of evaluation. It does not include evaluation. It is assessment of the scope of work achieved on site. Mr. Bokari, let me just I don't know. Mr. Sawyer, I'm beginning to think that maybe you need to to revert to a much more familiar language. My Lord, this is a highly intelligent, educated well, professional. Well, because uh, he seems to be having difficulties with the word evaluation. You know. Mr. Bokari, if I tell you that I used 5,000 bags of cement to build this building as an engineer, would you accept that, yes, I used 5,000 bags, or would you look at it and say, no, I don't think this is 5,000 bags? My Lord, in this situation, the contractor did not give quantities. He gave cost. And in our... You're not listening. This is your problem. 
you are an engineer, I bring you into this building and say, look at it, I use 5,000 bags of cement in here. As an engineer, you looking at this building, would you just say, yes, he used 5,000, or I don't think he used 5,000 bags? In this, in this situation, my lord... Yes, you just look at it. You know, if I, okay, if I tell you I use 200,000 bags of cement in here, would you accept that? Well, these are two instances. No, but, simple question. If I tell you, looking at this building, uh, with your knowledge of engineering and building, if I tell you I use 200,000 bags of cement to construct this building, would you agree? No. Oh, well, that's what he's asking you. <laughs> Did you evaluate? And I asked you this question earlier on. It's about evaluation. Yes, you've been given information. But as an engineer, you need to evaluate that information you've been given. Is that not so? Yes, my lord. Oh, well, that's the simple question he's asking you. Does assessment, which you went to do, include evaluation of what you have been told? Yes, for the second, the second report. Fine. So do you now understand what he's asking you? Yes, my lord. Fine. So you don't just take what you were given, but as an engineer, you use your own knowledge and common sense to evaluate what you've been given. Yes? Yes, my lord. Well, that's what he's asking you. Yes, continue. Yes. Um, does does um, monet monitoring include involve assessment? Monitoring is assessment. And assessment includes evaluation, correct? Evaluation is another form of it is another form of assessment. Does monitoring include evaluation? No, my lord. It can be twin, but they are not the same. Now let's turn to page 10 of your second report. Have you seen it? Yes, my lord. Okay. Now, certain payments were made between 2016 and October 2017. Is that correct? Yes, my lord. And those payments amount to 1,550,000. Is that correct? 20 2016 to what? From the first payment to October 2017. Would you like what a calculator? <laughs> well, if we, if we can come with a calculator, we... Do you, have a cal do you have your phone with you? <laughs> uh, yes, I have my phone. Can you do the math quickly, please? What's the period number one to... Number Mr. Sorry, is that not in evidence? <laughs> yeah, Milad, but I'm tying you to a question now. And I have to leave that foundation or else there will be objections. Can you come with the figure if you already have the figure? Yes, I already have the figure. The figure is 1,550,000. Mm. One million five hundred and fifty thousand. Would you agree with that? 
oh, sorry, one million five hundred and fifty dollars. My apologies. One million five hundred and fifty dollars. My apologies. So deposit deposited twenty sixteen to when? To October twenty seventeen. October. One million five hundred and fifty dollars. Is it on W W one to twenty two? Yes, page ten. I thought you were there. Page eleven here. I'm looking. I'm asking. I'm directing you to page ten, not page eleven. This is page ten here. W one to twenty two. My apologies. Thank you. Thank you for that. And I apologize to the court. Page 11. So, and we're talking about the first six payments. The first six payments? Yes. The, but there's no October here because you have, I think the sixth payment should be Tuesday, 19th September 2017. Okay, yes. Uh, September mm -hmm. 29, yes. 2017. 2017, you're correct, yes. Now, those payments, if calculated, amount to one million five hundred and fifty dollars. And those payments were payments made to the contractor, correct? Yes, my lord. Based on the video you saw and your own observations, you would agree with me that the value of work done at the site exceeded those monies disbursed, those particular, exceeded the sum of $1,550. Yes, my lord. Based on what the contractor presented, it's a short list mm -hmm. of uh, component work that he called for. It is not properly costed. There are no quantities, no rates. The, 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 the job components are not properly specified. So he, if he would have given me all the information and asked for, I would have been in the best position to ascertain whether this cost, the, the, the job done is, be, is, um, is beyond that amount, it's up to that amount, or less than what is being presented here. But from the planning phase, the designing phase, I asked all, him, him to give me information about how he went with the planning, the design of the various components of works, both the architectural and engineering designs required. So will you agree with him? I can't agree because I don't have sufficient information. No, well, let's say that. Your report, your statement in AK1246, which said that two, approximately 2.5 million had been expended on the 
on the project is incorrect. This was information given to us. Everything that has to do with payment, mind you, this job is not being certified by, by us. Mr. Joe Davis, who is the contractor, is also the third party certifier. And whatever request he made for payment to be done, payment were honored. And this information is directly from Mr. Joe Davis. You see? And in monitoring and assessing, you could not come, you cannot come to a conclusion or position that that project, as it stands today, has incurred more than one million and one million five hundred and fifty dollars. Go over your question again. So it is your testimony to this honorable court that after monitoring, assessing, evaluating that the project that you have visited twice and that you have watched the video at least twice, the value of the value expended in that project does not exceed one million five hundred and fifty dollars. We there's this aspect of expenditure and the aspect of work done. As I said earlier, the contractor has not given me enough information as to what was procured, how much he paid to the, con the subcontractors. And the, 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 budget, the budget for the job is not properly detailed. So in such a situation, we break the work activities in milestones. And I look at the milestones, and clearly gave the percentage of work he should have done for each milestone, evaluated it, provided the, the, uh, the, the, the percentage of work achieved for each milestone, and the, 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 the total project of work done for the entire project was derived at. Now, you just said that the contractor did not provide you with the information of how he got to of how he used the funds, correct? Yes, my lord. All right, so let's go back to AK1246. Financial issues. Page nine, right? Page nine. Yes, my lord. You had earlier indicated that this table was provided to you by the contractor, correct? Yes, my lord, the contractor and the, the, the project manager management team. And in this table, according to you. The contractor who told you that demolition works, the contract price was 75%, correct? 
75,000. 75, thank you, 75,000 dollars, yes. Correct. Yes, my lord. And that present payment, or payment, sorry, previous payment, was 60,000, correct? Yes, my lord. And that the percentage, and that the percentage of the total contract was 80%. Percentage of the, that particular budget, that particular item, Correct. item paid, 80% paid. Correct. And he does that as well for the internal walls, correct? Yes, my lord. 80,000, correct? 88. 88. 88%, I mean, 80,000, yeah. 80,000, yes. 80,000, the budget, then 50. 70,000 paid. Mm -hmm. And the payment received was how much? 70,000. 70,000. And what is the percentage? 88%. 88%. Internal walls. Oh, sorry, um, doors and windows. 20,000. Payment received? Uh, 5,000. Percentage? 25%. Uh, ceiling construction? 40,000. Mm -hmm. Payment received? 35,000. Percentage? 88%. Now, Um, masonry and concern and concrete work, sorry. Masonry and concrete work. 110,000. Mm -hmm. How much paid? 87,000. Mm -hmm. So, let me reverse you a bit. So, monies were paid for demolition, correct? Yeah. Um, Monies we are paid in advance of work to be done. Fair enough. Mind you, from the first amount paid, it was the mission that pre-financed this job, not the contractor. And at that time, no work had, had been done at that time. Did the contract So it was payment before work done, and these jobs were also certified by the contractor himself before he can request for the next payment to be done. And, and was this in accordance with the contract that you had browsed through? In accordance with the contract, the contract says the architect. No, 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 so I'm the, talking about the, the payments. Architect, that, that, yeah, the payment, the payment 701 of this contract, which he prepared clearly said that work should be certified. And from st standard practice, a third party should certify the job. That is not my question. But Mr. Jude Davis was certifying the job for himself, which to me is a request for payment. That is not my question. My question so to no you is, done. Mr. Bokari, yes, my question to you is, does the contract require the mission, the government of Sierra Leone to pre-finance this project? That is my question. The, 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 his contract, which is prepared, asks for an initial payment. But I, we need to read that portion clearly because it's a seven, I know it's 7.01, which states about payment to the contractor. And that he should be, he should be a, a, a pre financed. But as far as government a financial budgetary accountability is concerned, you cannot pay without a, a guarantee. There was no guarantee attached to it, and payments were issued. So we need to look at it critically. My Lord, my question is very simple. Mm -hmm. The contract asks for advance payment to be done. But before advance payment should be done, there should be an advance guarantee. And that aspect of advance guarantee is absent. 
before this payment was done. Does the contract require the government of Sierra Leone to pre-finance? That's my question, yes or no? The, the, gov the contract requires government to pay an advance payment. And the advance payment should go with a guarantee. Now, you just read out that demolition works, payments were made for demolition works, correct? Yeah, payments were made before even the demolition work started. Yes, fine. Payments were made for demolition work, correct? Yes, my lord. Did you, during your two visits, as well as in watching the video, observe that demolition works? No, that question has been answered long ago. You've asked him that before. I sorry. had? Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Internal walls. Payments were made. You have just stated the figure. Did you, during your two visits, see internal walls erected? And in the video, did you see internal walls erected? Yes, there was work done on the internal walls. Doors and windows, we already have, you have already read the figure here. Did you see doors and windows installed? Again, we've dealt with that. <laughs> right, grateful me, Lord. Ceiling construction, would you regard that as being dealt with, or should I ask? Did you see ceiling construction? Yeah, we've dealt with the suspended ceiling issue. We've dealt with the suspended ceiling. Okay, my Lord, I will go now to masonry and concrete works. Did you observe masonry and concrete works being done or already done at the site? Yeah, masonry and concrete work was done. But what is absent here is the contractor did not provide any quantity of work he should have done. <laughs> at the end of the job, he did not give the quantity of work he has done. Did you see masonry and concrete work done? Yes, my lord. Fireproofing. What's the figure there, please? Mr. Sorry, yes, uh, are you seeking to recross examine the witness on matters for which he has been extensively cross examined? Well, my lord, he has denied here categorically that the value does not exceed the value of work done. He cannot confirm that the value of work done is one million plus. That is his evidence. These were matters, what you're asking now, these were matters for which he was extensively cross-examined. Yeah, Milad, but yeah. based on his answer, so he gives me, he has opened the door for no, me No, no, to... no, 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 no. The, 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 the scope must be matters arising from the locals. I mean, uh, these are matters arising from the locals. We saw all of this in the no. locals. That in is the context, I'm... no, yes. Mr. Sorry, in the context of the answers he has already given, it's been it's testified, it's been cross-examined. What we're looking for now is looking at what he had said previously, looking at the video, does he still stand by those answers? Fair enough, my lord. That's I, all we're looking at. I mean, lord, that was why I posed the question to him, mm. that based on his visits, based on the video, the, would he agree that money spent on that project exceed $1 million? And he answered you, he said, I did not have the requisite information to yeah, do that. And this is the requisite information well, that fine. he so has It said. is a matter now for address, because the court will look at that. Right, you know, I'm and you see, you have to bear in mind, Mr. Soe, the overarching evidence is given that he did not have enough time to evaluate. So how is the court supposed to look at that evidence? That's a matter for me. 
He says, I don't have enough time to evaluate. So I look at it in the context of what he says. Yeah. You cannot go much further than that. That's what I he says. You, you know, because if he, a witness says, my own report which I prepared, I did not have enough time to look at it to give additional details, what weight is the court to put on it? I'm most grateful, my lord. <laughs> my lord, uh, Mr. Bokhari, this project was supervised by the New York Building Department, correct? Supposedly, it should have been supervised by the New York Building. Are you department. aware whether it was? There is no justification to it because the contractor did not provide information as to who were the subcontractors and payment he did to the New York Building Department were not proven. So, and based on the the code. The building department is supposed to have given permission for every work component. And after completion of that work component, approval would have been given. But for most of the job he has done, he cannot produce every requisite permit and approval required as per the New York Building Code. Put it to you, Mr. Bokari, that your statement here today is inconsistent with your previous testimony before this court. No, my lord. So, Mr. Bokari, am I correct in saying that you inspected this, the inspections were all done in your capacity as an expert? <laughs> my Lord. And, and you don't like this expert talk, huh? No, my Lord. This witness never, never approached this court as an expert witness at all. He might be a professional or whatever else he might call himself, but there are clear circumstances under which someone can be regarded as an expert. Well, that's a matter for address, you know. I, I... Yes, but then the problem, my lord, is that once it's um, endured, so to speak, that he is an expert and is allowed to ask questions, expected from a your Lordship, the court would be quite within its rights to expect expert answers. And so, opinions can be given. Exactly, my Lord. Now he's so giving it's, facts. It's a, it's a dangerous so, area, my Lord. And, uh, quite clearly, my Lord, they... And that's why I say it's for the court to determine whether to treat him as an expert or not. Well, you know, as far as I'm aware, he's here as the professional head of the ministry with expertise in this area of work. Indeed. I experience, if you yes. like, yes. as to whether he's an expert in the two sense as Mr. Kofana would want, we'll no. determine that subsequently. Thank you, man. But 
I will listen to his evidence. Yes, my Lord, it is now recorded for the purposes of the court <laughs> that the position of the prosecution is that he's not an expert witness. No, no, no. He's anyway, simply objected to the to word expert. We address you on that, my Lord. <laughs> At least it is their position, so they cannot run away from it. Well, he's objecting to expand, that's all. Lord, which means that um, he's not competent to depose to the matters that he has done so far. No, no, nothing that to do with that. Lord. No, no, no. He's not an expert no, witness. No, he's a professional, professional head of the Ministry of Works. But this is a matter of semantics, as far as we can Well, say. whichever, but when it comes to addresses, we'll deal with that. The criteria in silver lock is very clear. That's why I've been absolutely clear that silver lock is a relevant test. So we'll look at silver lock to see whether he is an expert, in which case his opinions count or not. So we'll look at that. As we look, please, but for now, he simply says, I'm an employee of government. That's it. <laughs> we, we don't know what happens uh, after that, but we'll see. <laughs> much obliged, sir. <laughs> All right. So... Mr. Sorry, please yes. ask the question again. Yes, so, um, did you, did you inspect the building as an expert? I inspected the building as the professional head of the Ministry of Works and Public Assets. Okay. And let's go to page two of your report. Page two of his first report. Exhibit. Um, have you seen it? The 1.2. Can you please read that again for the court? Following a request from the permanent mission of Sierra Leone to the United Nations. No, no, no. That, 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 look, we've exhausted that. Eh? The court will determine. No, no, no. I, I know where you want to go. Mr. Fofana dealt with that he point. He dealt with it, but in another way, my lord. I have another way. No, of if it comes to dealing with the question of whether he's an expert or not, I will hear submissions on those. Yes, my lord. No, my lord, I am not. Yeah. My lord, all I want him to do is just read that portion. That's he has I'm already read it when Mr. Fofana cross examined him. Well, my lord, I, that was Mr. Fofana's cross examination. No, 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 no. We know what is in there. A team of experts were requested. And he went as I mean, part of that But this is a public interest trail, and the public yeah. was not here the last time. No. The public did not have the benefit of hearing that no, testimony. It's, it's not for the... For no, no, no. The, the public is not conducting this trial. So, no, I'm conducting it. The evidence is clear. He has read that part. A team... And that's why I'm recounting to you what was read. Okay, that a team of experts was, re was requested. So... That's it. You can address on the point that it should be treated. And let me be clear on this one as well. Look, you can address on the point on whether it should be treated as an expert or not. But if I must add, right? I did not adopt Pamomo's, my learned friend. I know you did, you did yeah. not, but that does not mean the court would not take cognizance of it. Okay. The okay. issue has been determined in the court, and what I've said is that I will determine whether I consider him as an expert following submissions by counsel, both defense and prosecution. Milad, I, I will continue. Hmm? So that is the ruling. I, I so I, whether he accepts he's an expert or not, I will determine that issue. Uh, stand by it either way. But, but Milad, it, it, well, I just that's want right. to confirm. <laughs> they cannot <laughs> run away from Pete. That again that that part was stated in his report. That he no, was, no, it is in the report. It yes. is before the court. It's evidence before the court. So no. Yeah. It, it will not be called to determine whether he's an expert. So, Mr. Bokari, you would agree with me that that part, when you referred to yourself as an expert in the report, was wrong? Sustain, sustain. I've, I've dealt with it, and counsel would be wise not to continue with it. We're not going to get no further on it. I will deal with it in submissions. I, I'll, I'll drop it. Oh. I'm grateful. Well. Now... Mr. Bokari, do 
Do you recall stating in this court that the Chancery Building was about 94 to 96 years old? Yes, my lord. Now, would I be correct in saying that the older a building, the more expensive it would be to renovate it? No, my lord. Now, so is it your testimony that a newer building would be easier to renovate, uh, less costier to um, renovate? No, relevant, yes. relevant, relevant, relevant. He's not an expert, my lord. <laughs> Whatever he is, will determine that down the line. Yeah, but yes, for now, he's a witness. Because an, witness. an expert would easily answer that question. Well, that's right. So that's why he's not saying he's an expert. <laughs> <laughs> so he doesn't know. So his knowledge is limited. Is that your... No, he, he, does, he does not have to answer that. <laughs> no, yeah. no, I want Castle to answer. No, no, no. Castle no. is speaking for... <laughs> no. An older building might, might be less expensive because it's not that big, or the components require are more cheaper. And I'm getting to that. That was my question. <laughs> There's maintenance so, aspect of this. Precisely. There are several other issues. Definitely. So, so, have to spend more. so, my Lord, let me, let me ask my question. It's a bit periodic maintenance. Mr. Thank you for your commentary. Is it, what you want to ask him is speculative. You it's know, not it speculative. No, my lord. It doesn't touch. It, it's not germane to what we're looking at here. No, it is what All I'm right. going to ask now. Well, I will hear it. So yes. go on. Now, would I be correct in saying that all things being equal, that a 96-year-old building, all things being equal, would be costlier to renovate than a 60-year-old building? No. What things? What things being equal? Same, same structure, same size, everything no, the not same. Not necessarily. There are several issues about design, several oh, issues about width, there, yeah. depth. No, so, Milad, and that is what I'm saying, no, all mm -hmm. things being equal. Well, we don't know what same things building. might be unequal. Well, Milad, they are no, not in the same location. No, 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 no. My Lord no. disagrees, that is a fair question. <laughs> no, 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 no. That question doesn't take us anywhere. No. Now turn to page four of your report, first report. What's the age that you put on the building? It's over 60 years. Over 60 years. Age of the structure is over 60 years. Now why didn't you state the correct age of the building? At that time, this was the information. Give it to me. And was it difficult to get the correct information? <laughs> well, I, mind you, we just spent hours on the 17th, okay. access to duty, and we interviewed several people. If they said it's over 60 years, I'm not going to argue with them that it's not over 60 years. <coughs> Whatever I look at is over 60 years. Do you agree that there's a difference between 60 and 90? No, that's not taking us anywhere. That line of questioning takes us nowhere. 
So abandon that, Mr. Sui, please. It's not going to take you anywhere. Now, my lord. Now, based on what you have seen in the video, is the building now in war state? now in a worse state than what you had experienced in 2021? I think it's just progressive. Because mind you, the drywalls are, in real sense, this, are, this is paper, compact paper. And as long as continuous weathering is happening, it, you, 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 you get it's the building now in a worse state than you saw it in 2021. Uh, yes, my lord. <laughs> no. Now, did you observe mold um, during w when you were watching the video? Did you? No. That, again, that doesn't take us anywhere. The building is in a worse state than it was back in 2021. But Milad, itemizing what what are the no, issues? No, no, that no, no, no. It's not necessary to say. Well, yes, there was a cockroach web on the fourth floor and another cockroach and spider web on the third. It was in a worse state. We went there, we saw it, we saw what we saw. So that's neither here nor there. So no itemization is... No, no, it's not necessary. Because the building evidently was in a worse state than it was. What we looked for was how it was, the state of completeness as of 2021. Not state of completeness as of now, because no work has been done between 2021 and 2023. So let's not spend time on that. That does not form part of the considerations. Now, sorry. This last bit, I mean, of uh, the comments from the bench, my lord, is that the, the evidence of the witness? Because I'm no, no, sure no, no, no. I am giving you, uh -huh. both of you, prosecution yeah. and defense a leakage. Uh -huh. That I am not going to assess uh -huh. the building mm -hmm. and its completeness as of 2023. Because no work has been done between 2021 and 2023. What I know, of course, it was obvious when we went to the building that it had deteriorated over the period of two years. So my based assessment... Based on what, my lord? Because, well, of course, because... But there look, was no video for 2021. No, 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 no. Look, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to be open. I've said it. I'm looking mm -hmm. at the evidence before me mm -hmm. on the question of completeness as of 2021. Based on his report? Based on no his video, report. Not in visual. No, no, based on his report... The video is simply a visual aid for us. Mm -hmm. The reports that he gave, the other evidence before the court as to the state of completion in 2021 is what I'm going to use to assess the case. So, in simple terms, in simple terms, let me make it clear. If the argument is that there is an electrical switch on the wall, I will expect to see an electrical switch on the wall, even if it is covered in mold. Because it is the mold and the two years that this building has been locked that has caused the mold to develop. Mm -hmm. It's a different issue if we are told there is an electrical switch in the wall and there is none. So it's on that basis that the evidence is going to be assessed. So let's be clear about that. It's not going to be based on what we saw in 2023. Because we know that there are issues about the building being closed, and the evidence was clear that the building has been closed, but clearly from you, that nothing has happened, no one has had access to it. Mm -hmm. 
So we evaluating it on the basis of what was done in Mr. Bokari's first report that he saw, in his second report, and the other evidence of completion, including the statements that are there at as, as 2021. That is the relevant period. 2023 is not part of the indictment, and I will not be looking at what the building looks like in 2023. So no, I, I think I've been clear bit, uh, on that. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I, I think this is going to be a very serious issue for the defense. Because when we went to see the building, my lord, the was that we were going to verify what he has reported to this and, court. And there's nothing different from that. What I'm saying, if, there, if the argument is mm -hmm. there is a ceiling on the fourth floor, did we see a ceiling on the fourth floor, even if it's collapsed? Okay. The issue is, the indictment is very clear. Mm -hmm. 2023 is not part of the indictment. Mm -hmm. So that's out. We're looking at the state of the building, and that is why we had a visual assessment as to what the building looks like now. We have evidence... My Lord, respectfully, without knowing... Without knowing, what it was yes, in 2021. Yes, but we, the evidence we have before us tells us the state of completeness. This is why we allow the recall of Mr. Bokari so he can be cross-examined. Okay, we have his report before us. He's told us what he observed. He was the court's eyes in 2019 and in 2021. This is why the recall of Mr. Bokari had limited it to matters arising out of the locus. There's good reason for that. Because we cannot possibly take into account the state of the building as it is now in looking at the indictment. We cannot. I don't, I don't think you yourself will disagree with that. Well, yes, my lord. I mean, the, 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 the relevant... What I'm trying to, to point out here is that, I mean, the fact that the building is there and uh, notwithstanding the, the, the mold and the defects that you have referred to, I mean, on the pins... The, the conclusions that the court will draw, that definitely, if anybody says that there is no building, I mean, of course, that will not be the case. I mean, there is a building. But you cannot say that what is there now, I mean, is, will be removed from his report of 2021, because there will be nothing to base that no, on. No, 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 you're on the other side of the stake. Look, what I've, I've just analyzed it in simple terms. If he had said there is a light switch on all floors, as Mr. Nalo said, all the plumbing and electrical equipment were all complete, even a building that stays closed for 10 years, you would see evidence of that completion. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. Now, if rats had beaten into the cables, the electrical switch were hanging out because of the passage of time, the court will factor that into account. But the issue is the question of completeness. The difference between you and the prosecution, the prosecution's argument is that 90% of the payment had been paid when less than 90% of the work had been complete. Your defense argument is that no, 90% of the work had been complete. So it is that assessment that the court looks at. That is your argument. Yeah, yeah, no, apart from that being our argument... No, the, the it, central plank of your defense is that. Yes, and over and above that, our defense is that, I mean, the sixth accused, who happened to be the contractor, has not controverted that. In no, fact, that's, he, that's a secondary issue. I'm just looking at the broad, taking a broad brush approach of the defense and the prosecution's case. Your argument is, okay, let me add that bit for you so it makes you happier. The six accused has not controverted that that work has been done. That is your position. And that the money was received. And that the money was received. That is your, your position, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's fine. But the issue is, the prosecution's contention is 90% of this work had been done. And as per Mr. Bokery's report, second report, only 48% had been completed. That's the prosecution's case. Your defense case is different, that well, the work had virtually been complete before the advent of COVID. And that fact is not controverted by the sixth accused who receive all the funds. That's your case. Is that not so? Yeah, it is, my well, lord. So, so it is so, that 47% yeah. 
as against the locust visit that I'm a bit because well, if no. you remove the locust visit and the building as it is from the 47 percent, there will be a look chasm. Look at calling you Mr. Bokari. Mr. Fofana, the court will make an assessment of the evidence. Mr. Bokari yeah, says... But the court has said that, I mean, no, the 2023 no, no, scenario no, is no, irrelevant. No, 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 don't, no, no, no. Don't, don't, don't misquote me. What I've said very clearly is that the issue is about completion. Is that not so? Mm -hmm. Fine. So we're looking at the state of the building completion as of 2021. My Lord, even when work continued, because that, that is the point uh, I mean. No, that, that is the point. What which we saw work, is, which work continued? What we saw, what we saw in that building. No, I'm, which work continued after the COVID? Your argument that you raised in cross examination was that COVID stopped the work. Yes, but after well, COVID stopped the so, work, so, so after what are you COVID saying? stopped, COVID did not continue forever. My it client did not. Left, my client left after COVID had ended. It did not. Or that there is, about, I mean. But your point so was, no, 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 Google you see, you get, this is what, yeah. no, you see, don't shift the ground. Your argument no, was very clearly, anything. no, not, listen, yeah. your argument was very clearly mm. that the building had been in the hands of the ACC for the past two years. Yes. Oh, well, was work being done during that time? But my Lord, that can only be factored nah, based nah, on nah, what we saw on. in the video. Come on. Was work being done? What we saw live and what the, Mr. What the, what the Fofana, now presented. Mr. Fofana, this is an indictment that has specific dates in it. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. We don't evaluate criminal cases based upon what happens after. We have an indictment that gives us dates. Yes, my Lord. When this occurred. Mm -hmm. Your argument in cross-examination was very clear that, oh, the two years the building has been in the hands of the ACC. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now, you cannot expect me simply on that argument alone to just simply go and take into account what the building looks like now when you say it has been in the hands of the prosecution. That is not equality of arms. Yeah, my Lord, so my the issue is, no, no, please, no, the issue is the completion up until the time the building was in the hands of the ACC is what the court will look at. Yes, we have a visual aid of what took place between the two years when the building was not in the hands of the contractor. So that is not an issue. No, my, 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 it's not, it's my, not my an Lord, issue. Respectfully, before I sit down, I mean, I know, I mean, you, you, you are nailing home the point as you perceive it. But before I sit down, what I'm basically trying to understand and what I would respectfully ask you to, to look at. You fully understand what I'm saying. It's That's the, how you are. The visual, limb, the visual limb of the building as a which was not made available to the court. It was not so made. No way Listen, no, 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 please. Between what transpired no, in well, no, well, if that is the case, then there should be no trial then. Please. But my Lord, I mean, we no, do no, no, not no. bring ourselves here. No, 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 no. Here. no, please. If you are going to draw no, a contrast Mr. between 2021 no, no, no. and 2023, Mr. there will be something Mr. visual Fofana, before the court. There, there need not be something visual before the court. It's not in every criminal case we're going to lock us. So what happens to those cases where you don't go on a locust? You have only what the witnesses say. I'm How does saying, the court I'm deal with it? That because there is a locust to Fine. this one, that, so, is, that is the added value. That is why, no, please, no, that is why the evidence has been looked at in context. You see, As when I use speaking. these words, I don't use them because I feel like using them. They are carefully thought out that the evidence is being analyzed in the context of the evidence already before the court. So I am looking at the evidence to say, Am I to believe what Mr. Bokari tells me that this was a 47% building, completed I building in 2021? That's what I'm looking at. Am I to believe in the context of what Mr. Bokari said and what Mr. Nalo said at the locals that all the plumbing and electrical works were done? Do I see evidence of plumbing and electrical works having been completed? In 2021. Precisely. So, is that, you know, I mean, you don't expect, because you see, I'm not going to fall into that trap to start saying, oh, I look at 2023 and the building look like this. Because straight away, that's a ground of appeal. It's outside of the indictment. And I'm not going to fall into that trap. You know I'm fat oh, to experience Lord, I mean, that. nobody will trap you. So no, that is not what we no, are no, no, no. I, we no, just want we deal with it as we, in 2021. We want, we, we want a hmm? very clear and transparent very clear. understanding of the issues. We, All right, well, it's we, simple. We, I've we, given you the leakage already. You put your defense... Put your case and leave me to deal with it. As your right? I've been very clear you. the way I'm going to deal with it. We, we will address you. So I, I don't want anybody to be confused as to how 
I'm going to be assessing the evidence. Be, be, so when you tell your address, is in that my, line? My Lord, I mean, and the reason is very clear. Now that we know that Mr. Bokari is a factual witness... No, I've not all, said so. No, don't, okay. don't twist this. Ask your Lord. You know, I, I will sit down. Nobody okay. says, oh, now that we know. No. no if you want to address... The of the prosecutor. Well, that's them. If your defense is, is an expert, fine. Address on him being an expert. And we'll look at what he says in the light of... The silver, I've been very clear. I'm looking, I'm going to assess the question of whether he's an expert or not through Ivy Silverlock. So go read Silverlock and then determine yeah, where but, you want to argue. But my argue. Lord, I believe hmm? the, if, they, if that is their position, I am not seeing the court coming into the arena to say that he is not. Their position is that he's not an expert. Well, that so, is their position, but you know, if you flip it the other way, it will look like Fofana, coming Mr. into Fofana, the arena. We are going to bring you more into the criminal courts. You know, that does not mean because the prosecution don't take that view, I cannot take that view. But I, I've I said to you, I will look at it in the light of Silverlock, whether he qualifies as an expert or otherwise. I have to look at that. Notwithstanding their... their regardless position. of what they say, uh, I, regardless of what you say. Okay. But I, I need to look to see, that. because that is the way I will evaluate his evidence. That if this man, I consider him to fall within the silver lock criteria, then I need to look to see whether, in fact, his evidence is such that no reasonable expert would testify in that manner. That is what I need to look at. If I consider he's not an expert, then I simply evaluate his evidence as a factual witness. As your lordship so is. it depends on whatever submissions you bring. If you decide to say, well, he's an expert and he should be treated as such, I'll look at it. We'll address huh? you, my lord. Thank yeah, you. That's right. So... We'll address on it. Well, my Lord, it's better to raise these <laughs> issues now so that we have a clear understanding. I know you would raise them, so I'm always prepared I for mean, that. I, my Lord, <laughs> I will always raise it in the alternative as well. I mean, thank you. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay. Yes, Mr. Soe. Mr. Bokari, how are we doing? So soon. So soon. <laughs> Mr. Bokari, don't fall for his charms. <laughs> no charms, my lord. Mr. Bokari is a revered witness, a, a revered non expert. <laughs> Take him from my lead counsel. No, don't call him that. He has not said he is. <laughs> no, he says he's not. You have not determined yet, but he says he's not, my God. <laughs> it's not his fault that he, he goes to the next body if he doesn't hold himself to be one. You know, somebody sent him. He didn't go there on his own. Ah. Now... Mr. Bokari, um, I know you watched the video on the second day of the locust. Did you see a brand new lift anywhere in that building? I saw machine components. <laughs> Bokari, the man. <laughs> that need to be properly validated, whether it's a full component of a lift. <laughs> and whether the manuals are available, the warranty for the lift, whether there's the electrical component. And you never saw any of that? Yeah, I just saw something in the case box, you see? And the, so I should properly be previewed to the part list. And equipment. <laughs> and in 2021, I did ask the contractor to provide us those inform these informations, which he refused. So, 
because you had not seen all of those other components, is your testimony to the court that you cannot confirm whether the lift was there? I indicated in my report there is a machine of the lift, hmm. but I cannot ascertain whether the full component was in that building. And would you be able to identify, if you were shown, were you able, would you be able to identify the full components of a lift? The witnesses said that if they were packing lifts, et cetera, et cetera, he could do that. But he had none. He had none. Now, was that captured anywhere in your report? In, in my... We are, we are asked for documents for document to be submitted by the contractor. on site. I did mention about the steel frame for the fifth and sixth floor, the timber joists and plywood, the window and cutting walls, the doors and the windows, the data rack and low voltage network, the HVAC system, the vertical elevator, lift machine, and steel frame members for installation. Okay. Does your report state incomplete lift machine? So all of these issues that you're raising, can they not be assessed in the round of what the witness said, that he did not have enough time to evaluate? Because that is a major statement if you say that he did not have enough time. Because all of these issues, his report is replete with matters for which he says that he did not have enough time. Well, Milord, I agree that I would, I agree that we will address on that extensively during closing. But I think that it is important to put these questions to him. Um, one, out of fairness to him. And also because his report indicates that there was a lift. His report does not say that there was an incomplete um, lift or that I did not have time to review the manual to see that all the components yeah, were But his oral evidence is going to be looked at in the light of what he put in his report. Uh, yes. And sir. can the court not come to the relevant conclusions? Because, I, again, I raise the point that if a witness says, I've not had time to do X, Y, Z, mm -hmm. you know... Millard, I take, I take, I take you You ask him ten times Fair about enough. all the things that are missing in his report, He's saying, well, I did not have time. That's what I had. I only had a few hours. Well, we leave that for address. <laughs> you know, I think the, the, the address will deal with this much more sufficiently. That's fine, Milo. Now, Mr. Bokari, you can stop looking. No need to search. Um, the video of the second day also showed glass and other materials for the fifth and sixth floor on site. Is that correct? Yeah, there were glass, then the window frames, there are some window frames and uh, glass panels. And does your report capture that? That there were glass panels? Yeah. Well, I did ask the contractor to actually give me information on materials procured for the entire project. Materials in the store, materials recovered from site, 
the plumbing layout and specification. These are all items which he should have given me the information as what is in there, what has been taken out, but he did not give me information about how he managed his stores, his store inventory, and all the rest. Uh, my question was that the glass panels shown on the video, were they captured in your report that there were glass panels on site? That is my question. Well, I did state items which I saw at that time mm. of my visit in 2021 in the report. And in the video, I saw it uh, being shown and narrated by the narrator. There's a, 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 there are panels of glass and window frames were also shown. It's there. Well, is that in but your that report? He, we could not give the clear quantity of what was in the store and what is outside the store. Was that in your report that those glass panels were there? The yeah, report did mention about glass panels that were installed. No. And window frames that are installed. No. Did your report mention that glass panels were on site? Well, the contractor was at liberty to give me information about the store, which he gave me. He could not give me, so I did not mention that in my report. I agree. I think which report are we looking at? Exhibit A, K, or W? Milad, both or both. Both. We'll make that clear to him. So yeah, the re report actually mentioned about. I've just read them. Steel frames, timber joists and plywood for the fifth and the sixth floor. Windows and window and uh, cutting walls, doors and windows. The windows also include glass. The no, it's not stated glass. Well, fine. But Just say that. It's not stated glass, yeah. Mm -hmm. So the answer is no, right? Why? A yeah, glass was not mentioned in the report. The answer is no, a glass was not mentioned That's in the, the report. The, the, there's a glass ma material. There is a glass material on the side, but the windows were there, and the windows have a component of glass, part of it. The windows and the, the doors were there. Mm -hmm. Those ones I saw. The materials which I saw were reported. Those are asking for him to give me information about them. The question you are asked is about glass. Mm -hmm. Did you see glass materials on site? I did not see glass material, so it's not reflected in my report. Now, the contractor had mentioned to you that he had almost all materials. He had purchased, he had purchased almost all materials. Yes, my lord. And that a majority of those materials were stocked in the warehouse, correct? So some of the materials are in the building, and some of them are in warehouses around the city. OK. So in more than one warehouse. Yes, my lord.
And at the time of your visit in 2019, you did not see these window panels that you saw on the video, right? That you saw in the video. Well, most of the materials which he actually mentioned in 2019 were almost the same materials we met there in 2021 again. That's not my question. My question is, where the window, did you, you did not see, the window panels that you saw in the video in 2023 were not seen by you in 2019 or 2021. The window panels were there. I said most of the materials we met in 2021 were there also in 2019. Really? So the window panels were available in 2019 and 2021, but were not captured in your reports. In which report? In both your reports. With the glass panels? Yes, the glass panels, yes. That's what I'm talking about. Well, I did not see that one. And the contractor did not mention because he was asked to give an inventory of his store. If there were any materials elsewhere or okay. within the building which we we, we are not priv we did not see, he could have mentioned that to us that there are items here. Okay. Um, <laughs> but I think I need clarity from the witness. So... Is it your testimony that you saw the window panels, sorry, uh, not the window panels, the glass panels. Is it your testimony that you saw them in 2019 and 2021 or not? I only saw it in the video that was played. Okay. There will be no further questions, my lord. Thank you, Mr. Sorry. Teddy Koma. Good afternoon. You recall telling this court that on your first visit, you went as the professional head of the ministry, not so? Precisely the Ministry of Works and Public Assets, not so? Yes, my Lord, I went as the acting professional head of the ministry. Went as acting professional head. Okay, acting, not so? Yes. Apart of the fact that you went as the professional head from what you said, did you also accompany the team as an expert? I went as the professional hey, hey, head. You don't have to answer that. Yes, I, I've said I will deal with questions of experts yes, or non-experts yes, when the court is addressed. Okay. okay let, me, let me rephrase this in another way. Okay, apart from you accompanying the team, on your first visit as a professional head, were you in any other capacity with the team, apart from being the professional head? No, my lord, I went as the professional head of Just the ministry. Did you have any expert with you 
as part of the team that's going to let them. Again, again, experts, please. Yes, my lord. Council, we're not talking about experts here. Yes, my The members of the team and the designations were properly identified. Yes, And for the last I, time, any issues about experts yes, will be dealt with on address. Yes, my lord. I consider that fact. Mm. So don't ask him if he went with an expert. No, the designations are there. That's yes, as far as we're going to go. It is... There's nothing yeah, unclear as... about that. The designations are there, and that's what we go with for now. All right, ask me, Lord, please. In giving your assessment, were you expected to give an opinion with respect to your assessment? Yes, my Lord. And correct to say that in giving your opinion, same based knowledge in that field as an engineer, not so? Based on my knowledge as an engineer. Based on my knowledge, the observations and the informations I received on the field. The information I received and what I evaluated to be the situation as at that time. Are not based on your independent assessment? No, no, that's not a fair question. Milad? That's not a fair question. Milad? Of course, he's it's gone there to carry out an assessment, so how can it not be based on his assessment? No, 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 don't get around, no, don't get around the ruling, no, no, don't, no. <laughs> Mr. Witness. You said you're a professional, not so? I'm the professional head you're of the You're a professional. Okay. You, can you, uh, wait me. You are a professional head, you said, of the Ministry of Works, not so? And yes. as at that time, 2019, you were? Acting professional head of the Ministry of Works. Mm What's your area of studies or so? What's your area? What, These are what did all you... questions that have been answered by this witness. His, his um, educational qualifications have all been answered previously. Yes, my lord. So, no. I did not in any way adopt questions. Or no, you don't have to adopt it, but it's yes, evidence sir. before the court. So, no. Yes. It matters arising from the locals, not about his qualifications. Ask, ask me, lord, please. Ask me, lord. You spoke about architectural design with respect to what exactly was shown to you, not so, by Council um, Pamamo Fofana to be specific. Yes, my lord. Certain drawings were shown to you, not so. Yes, my lord. And uh, I'll be correct to say you know what architectural designs are, not so, or drawings are. Yes, my lord. You said you are a civil engineer. You're, you did civil engineering also. I'm the professional head of Ministry of Works. You said you are a civil engineer. Question him, my lord. You know, we leave from my Mr. 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 Koma, I've told you, I'm going to hold you in contempt if you continue. Honestly, because I've told you, yes, anything about this man's qualifications, leave it. Yes, and leave it alone. His evidence has already been given on that point about his qualifications. Yes, my lord. The purpose of him being recalled is yes, to deal with matters arising out of the locals. Yes, Milad. And if I, if I recall I your cross-examination, it was all Pamamo's client that was responsible. Milad, so why are you asking him that? No, Milad, Milad, no. Milad, the reason no. why I'm raising this... No, you don't need to. You, sorry, Milad. You don't need to. I've ruled on it. You don't need to. 
His qualifications are before the court. He has testified before. Yes, my lord. He's been cross-examined as to his qualifications. Yes, my lord. Now, the question of whether... I know you want to get around the ruling, but no. No, my lord. If he's an expert, I will determine that at the end of the trial. Good for me, lord. Let me proceed. You know, and if this let continues, me, you, me, you know, go, go to you're going to be in trouble. Let Please. Me, me lord, me lord, respectfully, no, lord. don't. No, 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 I, I don't. Have to, I have to represent the interests no, of no, my no. client. No, no, no. You represent the interests of your client As within the business, rules. I consider, not to start I getting am, around the ruling. No, no, no. Lord, I am not in any way getting around the ruling. All right. Well, if it happens again, you will be in trouble. Can I Can I proceed, my lord? No, please. Let's... Upon your first visit... Correct to say, Mr. Witness, that you were shown a video with respect to the state of the said transit before the commencement of the construction or the reconstruction. Yes, my lord. Yes. of uh, officials from the anti-corruption from your reports. We are giving an opportunity for that same video. No, my lord. No, my lord. The contractor and the subcontractor, both of them we are present as at the, your first visit. The contractor and the sub. Yes, my lord. You conducted an extensive interview with both of those people. It was a site tour, and in the site tour, they were explaining what has been done, yes. what they intend doing, and what they, uh, about the, the entire program. Yes, yeah, so you, you uh, As I said, it was a site tour, and during the site tour, we were being briefed about various components of the work ongoing. Um, what um, is the plan? Sorry, sir, the did you conduct an interview? Well, it's a discussion. A discussion. Okay, yeah. So the discussion, the, first not, visit. the discussion did not amount to an interview with them. Well, I don't know what you're referring to as an interview. Because <laughs> you are you very, very so, troublesome, you are, Mr. Koba. <laughs> yeah. The witness said they had discussions. Yes, it was but, brief. But, but they, 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 there is the, a line of difference having a discussion and taking an interview from somebody. Well, okay, well, he's answered that they had a discussion <laughs> on the side tour. No <laughs> interviews were conducted. <laughs> but this discussion is correct to say we are very elaborate with respect to the issues that you went to assess. Not so? We, we had discussions, and I mean, as, as I've said earlier, it was just a few Where the discussions visit. elaborate. They were not elaborate. They were not. They were not. Oh. <laughs> From both reports, you took note of certain items which you said you saw at the site, at the project site. Not so? Certain items. Yes, my lord. Yeah. to say from all the list, I mean, that which you itemize from the first report and even from the second, there is no mention with respect to the quantity or quantities of these items that you saw. 
Well, that should have come from the inventory because if you are using the site as Leave a store, the inventory. Was so, there mention in your report about no, the quantities? No, my lord. Prime. No. And there is also no appraisal, no assessment as to the cost of these items which you said you saw on both visits. No, my lord. No appraisal of what? No cost, no my lord. Cost. Correct to say, Mr. Witness, that there were mumbles. Uh, are you objecting? <laughs> allow me to allow me to proceed. What's so, your objecting? Do you want him to be using his name? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> And what is your problem with that? Is he not a witness? <laughs> Continue. Mr. Mr. Bokari, who is serving as a witness in this matter, correct to say that upon your inspection, there were mumbles at the top. Which, which mumbles are you referring to? Mumble tax, mumbles. There were granite slabs. Nice they were not in the store. They okay. were they, they were have samples, just like what the the narrator said in the second uh, uh, local school. They, yeah, the, yes. Samples were installed at the entrance, the face, at the face, the face of, of, the of the building. Sample, just a sample, just a sample. And him, he informed us that they are at the fabrication in the first visit that they are the fabrication in the first visit that they are fabricating the granite slabs. Okay. In the second visit. I was informed by the contractor and the subcontractor that this is just a sample we have indicated just to see how, just to indicate how the, the building will look like. Okay. But they have it that at the, the fabrication face of the building, shop. Now the face of the fabrication building workshop. Will look like. But you did not mention that in your report, sir. Not so? Well, I, I did not specify the marble, but I mentioned that certain materials, okay. that some materials were in the store and some of them were reported to be out, out of the, 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 the building. You also recall that you were asked by counsel um, during his cross-examination with respect to the lift. Not so. A couple of minutes ago. Yes, my lord. Yes. Is it correct to say that you were also informed with respect to new initiatives that were brought by the said contractor with respect to creating a lamp, for example, to aid the disabled and all. Not so? This was part of the proposal. Sorry? And as far as the uh, New York Building Code is concerned, you, were, you, you have to told exactly you that have to the contractor make the, the project disabled friendly. Sorry? You have to make the project disabled friendly. Yes. The delivery of the project should be disabled friendly. And that did not reflect in your report, sir. Not so? You did not in include that. That that provision, which was never in existence, was made by No, it's mentioned. Person. If you look at the courtyard yeah. and the fencing. We are, we are, we are specifically, sir. Can should you be there. help us? Concrete work done in pavement slab, disabled concrete ramp. That is 6.2.2, the second report. Okay. The disabled concrete report. ramp, step, and concrete form for the, for the proposed front garden. All right. From your assessment, which you have there with respect to that second report, what is the percentage of your assessment in that place with respect to com the completion of the work? The completion of the work, the yes, second yes. report? The second report. 
And this was done almost two years after you had done the, report, the first report, not so? Yes, about the 2019, 2021. You stated in your report, sir, that the work, I mean the first report, that the work which you saw upon your first visit was satisfactory. Yes, my lord. Yes, my lord. And further, specifically page 16 of that report, you further said that the contract, that materials on site are justified based on the contractor's claim of having enough materials to finish the contract work. Not so? Yes, my lord. Yes, my lord. Yes, my lord. Page 16. And what was your assessment with respect to your first assessment? This was a monitoring visit. What it was, was based what the was your assessment, sir? My question is a specific one. What was your assessment, sir, with respect to your first report? The assessment based on what? Based on what exactly you saw, what you were told, all the factors that you considered for this report to be made. Yeah, the assessment was this project. Uh, financially, the percentage, it was the percentage, percentage. Sorry? 70%. 70%. Yeah. So you, once from this evaluation is made, Specifically, having a comparative analysis of your first report and that of the second, that in just about two years, 2019, your first visit, to 2021, your assessment with respect to the work dwindled from 70 to 47. Not so? Yes, my lord. Yes, my lord. That question has been asked during course examination. Yes, my lord. My lord. Extensively. <laughs> and besides, I don't understand. I thought you said it was all the first accused. <laughs> Sorry, my lord. I don't... My lord, can you give me a special solution to complete our conclusion? My lord, did I give you? I think he has now moved from that. Yeah, he has now moved from that. Yeah, we, now are, moved from we, that. Are, we, are, we are presenting our because, case as a defense. Because it was all nothing to do with me. It was all the first accused. <laughs> we, are present, we are now presenting our case you know, as a defense. <laughs> Um, look at your second report again, sir. Specifically, page 20. With respect to payment made to contractor, I refer you to, is it 12 issues and risk management? Yes, my lord. You've seen it? Yes, it's, no, the, the risk and management is 19, but specifically I'm referring him to 20. It's W. W20. Yes, can you? You said that the payment made to a contractor is over 89% of the reviewed contract value. Not so? Yes, my lord. Did you take cognizance the retention fee? That there was a 10% retention fee, which was the account. 10% retention fee? Yes, yes. In the account? Yes, yes. Oh, well, <laughs> Did you take note of that? In the account of who? The contractor? <laughs> no, I, I had no, no information about 10% no retention fee. And it's not even mentioned in my report. Yes. Lord, um, 
With respect, my lord, and with leave from the lead counsel for the prosecution, I wish to object to this line of course examination. My lord, the orders are specific. The rules within which we must be playing in regard to what we're doing with these witnesses and so these witnesses are very specific. They must actually hinge and bother on matters arising out of the locals. My lord, I see nowhere we are, you know, the line of course examination that counsel is taking, border, touch or concern, what happened in New York when the locals in co was conducted. No, before, you, before you land, don't take us on the floor in a frolic. That is all the counsel. My lord, such is my objection. Until and unless the border touch and concern the, the, the locals in court, my lord, I will object that this line of course examination be disallowed, my lord. My lord, my lord it's, it's came out on a paper Cali can respect to the contract in question. My lord, which this week is really laid the foundation with respect to No, no. Look, you see, look, said, again, again, Mr. Yes, sir. Koma. Yes, ma'am. Let us start from the beginning. Yes, my lord. This witness has been course examined. Correct, my lord. Now, what we're looking at again yes, is matters that have arisen in the context of the earlier testimony that he's given. Very well, my lord. Now, you're asking him to go back and look at contract and 10%. How does that arise out of the locus? which I'm sure this court moved um, 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 to go and see the chance in question, out clearly with respect to the state of the said chance. It was visual to assist yes, us. Yes, with respect mm -hmm. to the state, mm -hmm. really, which I'm sure those who went there, my Lord, saw. Mm -hmm. And also, the video in question, we also saw exactly, Lord, the state of the said building. Where, where did contract they, feature in that video? My Lord, my Lord, that building did not just stand there without... No, like, where did contract boundaries. feature in that video? Sorry, my lord. There Where is, did you talk yeah. about contract coming to that video? My lord, there is no contract with respect. Well, so why are you asking questions on contract? The, the, the rationale, respectfully, as to why I asked that question is to show exactly, my lord, that firstly, the, the, question, or the, the, the building that was shown, my lord, in question, which he said, my lord, from his analysis, more, more so the second report, that same is 47% 40, com completed. My Lord, respectfully, is wrong. That is one. And secondly, to further show or confirm to this court that even, my Lord, what he alluded to in his report, I mean the second report, with respect to the 89%, which he said had been paid already, my Lord, the question was also wrong with respect to the issues. My Lord, it's for an assessment. At the end of the day, as you rightly said, no, no, for this court to evaluate no, no, no. those issues. questions about yes, whether sir. it was wrong yes, or otherwise yes, in sir. relation to the contract, which I, I believe is where you want to go, yes, are questions that ought to have been asked in court examination. Yes, the but, issue here is this. No, it does not need to object because yes, I am the trial judge. I'm looking at what is going on. Exactly, my Lord. The issue here is this. If he had said there was 47% completed yes, in the second report. Yes, my lord. And what I would expect of you yes, is to take that evidence in line with what was seen on the video yes, to ascertain whether in fact that 47% or in fact the 70% that he had given, yes, he still relies upon that argument. Yes, my lord. But to say, well, what about the 10% contract? That does not take us anywhere. So no, let's focus on I matters see. arising. Ask me, Lord, please. Ask yeah. me, Lord, please. Correct to say that you were not. Uh, sorry, my Lord. Can the first accused be permitted to use the restroom? Sure. Correct to say, Mr. Bokari, that you were not part of the team that went for the locust, not so? Yes, my Lord. You are not part of the team. Yes. But he's seen the videos. Huh? He's seen the videos. Yes, in court, my lord. <laughs> Just like you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, my lord. <laughs> At least, my lord, um, it would have been better for him to have been there, my lord. I'm sure that would have No, been. no, it did not need to be. Yes, my lord. No. <laughs> I am suggesting it to you. Mr. Bokari, yes. your knowledge 
that in New York, before the progress of whatever construction, for to commence there, you are aware of that, not so? He had answered that. He had answered that. Sorry? He answered that. You made reference with respect to not being shown certification. Oh, certificate. Again? Not being shown certification by the contractor which respects to what being completed or so, not so? Yes, my lord. Yes, my lord. Is it correct to say that if the work in question was never certified, same will not have um, been proceeded with. Is it correct to say to your knowledge? Go over it again. You said mm -hmm. that no cert certification was ever made available to you by the contractor with respect to the, the stages that you had completed with respect. Is it correct to say so? Let me, I think what I, what I said was that yes. every, for every work to be done, yeah. There should be a permit. Once that permit has been given, you go ahead with that particular work component. Mm -hmm. After it has been completed, you have a certification. An approval is given. Okay. An approval certificate. So the approval is not a certificate to confirm the completion of that particular stage. The approval is a certificate it's to a certificate. confirm that. This is what I'm asking you, sir. Yeah. So my question to you, sir, is it correct to say that if no certification was ever given to the said um, contractor, the work in question will not have proceeded? It would have been stopped. Yes, the project in question at the various states. Same would have proceeded. <laughs> well, then they are, I am not the, 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 the uh, regulator in New York, but okay. based on their contract, you are not supposed to proceed. You are not supposed to proceed. Thank you. And you are aware of the fact that that is being guided by... Uh, no, that's illegal. No, no, that contract in question... Is that a matter rising? Sorry, Ask me Lord, please. Lord, it's <laughs> is the, is the, what guides the contract? Is that a matter rising? Lord, can they just allow me respect? No, no, no. If they want to object, it's just I'm not sure. Lord, it's not for us to fight here. No, if they want it's, to object... It is not object. about them. I am asking you, yes, is that a matter rising from the locals? Lord, what law governs the contract? Lord, Lord, it's, it's not um, um, strict to say so, Lord, in matter... <laughs> so why are you asking him? Lord, but in its, in its actual sense, Milad, I'm sure the chancery, Milad, is at a location where, Milad, um, the jurisdiction, Milad, is very clear, respectfully, Mr. and all that... Mr. Milad, Mr. Telecoma, yes, Milad. is it everything that is governed by Sierra Leone law is done in accordance with Sierra Leone law? Milad, Milad, no, Milad. Mm -hmm. Yes, my lord. But my lord, when it comes to civil matters like that, respectfully, my lord, in which is a contractual relationship, my lord, it behoves... My lord, we know this is a criminal matter. Yeah, I, I thought, I thought you forgot that. Matter. No, my lord, we know this is a criminal matter <laughs> and not a civil one. But my lord, again, the legal ramifications when it comes to that is for... But we are only saying, in view of the fact that he's aware of certain codes in question, which he said that... Um, Certificates in question that they were not said against the see, book in question. Mr. K Mr. Koma, yes, Milad. You want Milad. this witness to give answers yes, that he cannot give. The issue is his evidence is simple that yes, I was not shown a certificate. If one exists, it's for the defense to produce it. That's Milad. But the prosecution, as far as they're concerned, there is none. So asking him to say, well, if there was none, that would not have been done. You're asking him to speculate. This is the problem. Ask me, Lord, so I take, I take you address on that if there is one or there isn't one. I take it. Yes. Um, since 2021, you, you last paid the said chance in 2021. It wasn't 2020 or 2021. 2020, 2021. 2021. And since then, to your knowledge, the work in question with respect to that chancy was stopped, not so? To your knowledge. Yeah, from all indications and information. Yes. Yeah. 
as an engineer, although your expertise will not be questioned at this stage, I will deliberately take my time there. But um, <laughs> correct, correct to say that in view of the length of time that this work has been stopped, it has been subject to depreciation and all, not so? Milord, Milord, that question had been answered. And besides, for the question on depreciation had been answered in this court by this witness. And besides, my lord, I don't really see. Um, council is still going on a frolic, technically trying to actually, you know, bypass the orders of the court. My lord, I, I will object to this, to this, to this manner of um, cross examination, on grounds that it does not pinpoint the matters arising, or it does not zero in on the matters arising from the locals in court. Well, that is um, that specific question is a matter dealing with depreciation, which touches and concerns the discussion I had with Mr. Fofana. That yes, there is depreciation, and that's the reason why specifically the building would not be assessed as it is today. So it's a fair question in relation to the depreciation point. Good for me, Lord. Mm -hmm. Mr. Quiva, please don't scatter this place, please. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Can you answer my question, sir? Can you go over the question? Yes. I said, in view of the fact that you've confirmed that since 2021, this work had been stopped, from that period to present date, correct to say that the work or the project in question had depreciated so much, not so? I mean the structure. Yeah, there's progressive depreciation. Progressive depreciation. Yes, on a daily basis. I like your words. Progressive depreciation. So we start looking at it from the point when there was no depreciation. <laughs> and then we evaluate that with a progressive depreciation. Yeah. <laughs> You're just a troublesome fellow. That's all you are. Um, Mr. Ma, yeah, any clarifications? Extensively. <laughs> Don't be distracted. <laughs> Indeed, my lord. <laughs> you were, Mr. Bogari, you were questioned in relation to the percentage that you found uh, after your assessment after the second visit. Do you recall? Yes, my lord. Yes. What, what was that percentage? What is ambiguous about that? It's well, been very clear. I'm coming to that, my lord. No, may we, we know it's 47 and 70. Yes. May I, may I my lord? Yeah. <laughs> Can you explain to the court how you arrived at that percentage? He has already. See, my lord, finality. He has, he has already, very clearly, in his earlier testimony. Yes. All right. Now, let's go back to the first visit. 
you also arrived at a percentage, I believe it's 70%. Yes, my lord. Mm. Uh, can you explain how that was computed? <laughs> well, I don't recall that, my lord. I stand to be corrected. I don't even... The witness had answered extensively those questions as to how he arrived at those percentages. So we need not go over that again. The issue is matters that are, are ambiguous and arising out of the locals. Yes, your lordship, please. In that case, my lord, I no don't... No further questions. <laughs> we have no other questions, my lord. <laughs> Mr. Bokaria, I guess you are relieved to believe it. <laughs> and don't worry, you wouldn't have to come back. <laughs> Unless it's in relation to some other trial. <laughs> All right, but thank you very much for coming. Um, that ends your evidence, and you're free to go. And it won't be going as an expert, so don't even think about that. Just as a professional. Right. Um, gentlemen, um, the second witness I'm informed is here. Um, he needs to go back to his duty station over the weekend. Friday is a holiday. So it means that for those who have questions and those who want to cross-examine, all of that need to be completed by the end of the day tomorrow. So, just giving an indication, you know, there will not be any additional um, time given because the issues are very, very crystallized. We don't have a lot of issues. We've seen the building. We've, it's been cross-examined previously on evidence before the court. So the court examination need not be elaborate. There's nothing major from what I've seen, my assessment of the evidence that requires hours of course examination. So just to give you an indication. I, mean, I, I understand. I was just a little uh, concerned that uh, his return had been pegged to Saturday as if. Uh... Yeah, well, I mean, if, I, if it I, means we sit I, till 10 o'clock tonight, we sit. But he needs to go back on Saturday. You know, he has his family. He has to enjoy his holidays. Was he has that a not duty station. To be an issue for the court, my lord. No, 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 no. His return. No, no. I've been, in, I, I've been informed that he's here for a short time, and he's going to go back. And I've looked at the issues. There is nothing in the evidence that suggests that he needs to be cross-examined for days on end. Uh, nothing. I, I will be short with him, my lord. No, I know you will be short with him. So. <laughs> You know, I'm, I'm just sounding the alarm that if there's going to be cross-examination, you know, it needs to be concise. In fact, I just wanted to thank you for at least uh, <laughs> anticipating that it is now time for us to leave, my lord. No, no, no. It is for time today. for us to take a break. Oh, for today? Yes, for oh, today to take you a break. You're coming tomorrow. No, no, no. I'm just saying, you know, I'm be very clear that we are going to finish by tomorrow. That is not to say that we are done for today. It simply means that court examination needs to be tailored to ensure that witness is done with tomorrow. So if you know you need extra time for court examination, then we need to start now, and then we continue tomorrow. But if you're sure you can get it done against tomorrow, that's fine. Yeah, definitely, I won't be long with him. I mean, at least so, to today. Mr. Kagbo. I don't know what your lordship's uh, disposition would be. <coughs> Firstly, in the respect of the fourth accused, we shall be making an application. I don't know whether you want us to come by motion or summons, as the case may be. But this question of um, daily attendance to court is causing us a lot of inconvenience. And it's causing me inconvenience too. 
Well, that is it, my Lord. Because this is vacation when I should be chilling, and I'm not chilling. Your Lordship might be disposed yeah. to dispense with his appearance here, my Lord. Well, file the application. I am in court to work on the basis of application. You file the application supported by an affidavit and look at it. As my Lord pleases. So no issues there, no problems. Serve the prosecution, and then I would hear what they have to say. And um, on that mm. note, my Lord, um, tomorrow will be terribly inconvenient for us to come to court. And um, I don't know, my learned friend, my mom of Fofona says it's not going to be long. For us, we cannot give that guarantee, my Lord. So we'll see what happens. Right. That's so what that's why we're going to take a break and then we continue, since we have no guarantee. How long a break do we... 30 take? minutes. 30 minutes. As the Lord pleases. So let's see, now 24 past, we resume at 3 p.m. <laughs>